All right, so the last of our high implied volatility percentile scanners is going to be our speculative one. And this is a fun one. So um, go to create new scan query. Again, we're on the scan tab in Stock Hacker and Think Desktop, the Thinkorswim uh, training platform. So we're going to go down here to create new scan query. And we want to change scan in all stocks to category all optionable so it only chooses underlines that have options associated with them. We want to change net change to last so the minimum price of the stock 10 bucks maximum price of the underlying I should say not stock uh, is 5,000 bucks. We want our minimum volume in this case we're going to go much lower to 150,000 and we'll leave max blank and here's another Cool part about this one. Um, so we're going to go to, so we're doing le much less minimum volume than before. Uh, so lower minimum volume required in the underlying. And then our vol index, <coughs> you know, I, like, I like to put it pretty high. I'm going to put 90 here and then leave max blank. And we want to add a study filter. We're going to go to volatility, IV percentile, and in this case, I just want stuff from, sorry, 85, so, so 84 to 101. You, know, you can put 79 here if you want. So 79 means it'll pick up 80 to 100. 84 means it'll pick up 85 to 100. Uh, so basically what we've got here is a combination of you know, lower price, lower minimum volume, uh, super high vol index, and super high IV. You know, you know, even higher than normal than our previous super high. So basically, you're saying I want something that has crazy high IV percentile and is extremely rich from a I, I implied volatility perspective or vol index perspective. So you're gonna find some really really rich opportunities here, and so. Just going to call this one super high IV percentile plus super high IV plus low vol or low volume. And you can name these whatever you want. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head and uh, naming these. This is actually what I had this stuff named in the past. I probably could shorten them down, but I really don't care. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so we're going to change this show to 500. Uh, leave it at stocks and then sorted by once again we want this to be studies IV percentile and we want this to be descending so that the the highest IV percentile is at the top uh, so you know we've got a, a nice little speculative scanner here so let's hit save and then let's go up here to this little button here and hit load scan query personal and we'll choose this particular one and uh, what you can see here once we hit scan, so it loads up our criteria. It's going to pick up a few names. You know, very. It's going to be very uh, minimal list here most of the time. Um, so putting show 500 is kind of pointless, but I just kind of keep that static throughout all my scanners. Um, what you can see, or what you can do if you want, you can manipulate. You know, you can change this volume to 100,000. You can increase this vol index to 100 or 150. You know, you can do whatever you want um, with this speculative scanner. But what you're going to get here is more kind of speculative names. You can see, and there's the, I already see a few of these are uh, biotechs, which of course you're you know, playing with fire with biotechs. But one that I saw a couple of days ago was ECYT, and you know, if you pull up this chart of ECYT. You see an underlying that has extremely high implied volatility. If you look at the IV chart, so first of all, our IV percentile is 92. Um, you know, previously, we've been at some some highs in implied volatility at 100, but now we've almost doubled that. We're sitting here at like 181. Current price of the stock is 13 bucks. If you go over here to the trade, and one more thing, earnings are behind us. The next earnings, uh, let's see, is May 1st, unconfirmed. So it's probably going to be after May 1st. So we have earnings behind us. There's got to be some sort of takeover rumor or phase three, phase two data impending. I haven't looked into it to cause this 
IV percentile, or the supply volatility to stay so high post earnings. But if you look at the trade tab and you go here to ECYT and you look at the options here, we've got March has 221% implied volatility and April has 164. So if you just stick with the March with 15 days left, one thing that caught my eye was uh, the 95, 95 bid on the 10 puts. So just to kind of put that in perspective, we're looking at a $13.17 stock. The 10 puts are giving us, you can sell them for 95 cents, if you sell them short, which would give you a uh, cost basis of roughly uh, right at 905. ROC is 100%, so essentially you have daily ROC of around you know, almost 7%, 6.67% daily ROC, crazy. Put that in perspective, if you look at something like AA here, AA has high implied volatility percentile at 78. Now the IV itself is nowhere near uh, that of ECYT, but the price of the underlying is fairly close and the IV percentile is fairly close. But if we were to go here to AA and look at the same strike on the regular March options with 15 days left, it's one cent. So 95 cents, one cent. You know, it's, just, it's, it's an intriguing situation. I mean, you're playing with fire. It's a biotech stock, but it's an intriguing situation. And you know, the bid ask spread is not that bad. We've got a, a one or a 10 cent bid ask spread on the puts here. We do have decent volume here and open interest on this particular strike. So it's not the worst thing in the world, you know. It's if you if you have some speculative capital and you say to yourself, you know, I want to go out and find a speculative options play where I can really take advantage of some potentially juicy premium. Um, this could be a decent play for you, and you wouldn't have known about it or found it if you didn't have that speculative scanner that we just put intact. So what you might say to yourself is, okay, ECYT got some speculative capital. Um, if the shares are put to me. They'll be put to me from 905, which is down here would be my cost basis. So that doesn't look too bad. You know, of course, something like the uh, good old, I think it was Arena Pharmaceuticals might happen to you. Yeah. Where you had this massive drop here and it just continued to slide. But it's recovered. So all in all, it can just, this scanner is speculative, but it can present some decent opportunities. And every once in a while, You'll have a name that you know, you know, isn't a crazy speculative name pop in in the mix. And I'd say maybe once every four to six months, something like that might happen, and you'll have a really good opportunity. Um, generally, when a a known name like Google or Apple or Groupon or Amazon or something like that pops in on this particular scanner, it's because it's the day of earnings. So you would want to do just a specific earnings play. I'm showing this ECYT one because it's a Pretty interesting uh, speculative play with earnings have already taken place and IV is still extremely high and there's still a lot of opportunity there on the, to sell those puts and get some extremely high daily return on capital. You know, so interesting. Just to reiterate, we did all optionable. Our last minimum is ten bucks, maximum five thousand. Volume minimum is one hundred fifty thousand. You can change that to whatever you want. You can decrease it or slightly increase it. But you do want to keep it kind of low so that these speculative names come into the mix. Uh, vol index we put at 90. Go, you can go higher than that if you want, but 90 fits the bill for me. Um, and you can see IV percentile got 79 to 101, so it's going to pick up 80 to 100. If you want to make it 85 to to 100 or even 90 to 100, you know what to do. Just change this minimum number to 84 if you want 85 to be the minimum, or 89 if you want 90 to be the minimum. I want to give it a little bit more of a range here, so I'm going 80 to 100. We show 500 stocks, IV percentile uh, descending, so the highest IV percentile is at the top. And as you can see, the scan resulted in exactly what we wanted. The highest IV percentile is at the top. So it's a pretty cool scan. Thought I'd share that one with you. Next, we're going to move on to low IV percentile scans, and I'll see you in the next video.